them here. And due to that weight will depend how the blocks will first try to move. Okay, let, let me start from here. Three mg force will act. String will become taut. This will be tension. All pulleys and strings they are mass. They, they are light. This will be tension. This will be mg. Now, because of string become taut, no. Look at this particular pulley now. What force that is acting on the pulley? Yeah, the tension is the force acting on also on the wedge. Is it okay by this time? I think you must have a clarity here now. What force that is acting on this pulley P1? The same force is what? Call pulley P1, P2. What force that is acting on pulley P1 is the force acting also on the wedge? No. So, <coughs> how much of horizontal force is acting? Tension T. So, therefore, the same force is also acting on the wedge. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yeah. So the vertical force uh, also acts on the. Ah, uh, also on the act on the wedge. Yeah, that I, I'll, I'll write uh, that equations also. They're in contact. This n one. This n one. The weight. Two mg. Here you show normal contact n two. Uh, first, uh, let's go for that one. So it means the force tension is also acting on the pulley down. Is also acting on the wedge. So then what, so, what should be the N2? What should be the N2? N2 should be, if I write the equation, no? N2 minus 2mg minus T should be equal to 0. This is on the wedge along y-axis. Huh. Yes, anybody? Yes, sir. Uh, the pulley, sir, how will the vertical force which is acting on the pulley would act up even on the wedge, sir? this one are, are you looking at my the, this one suppose if I do like this what all I'll pull it is it also I, I'm, I'm pulling my um, how is my hand my hand is like this no I think I'll, I'll, I'll show this origent I, I kept my hand like this uh, horizontal no no, no a, anything apply force so at least at this particular joint what happened. So here I am applying force only on my hand, no? On the left hand, vertically down. Tell me like what is the force acting on me? The joint here, this this my left arm, what happened? At the joint will try to press my body down. Is that okay? So you can start like this, huh? Okay, sir. No, no, no. These are the things. So what possible direction? So let the acceleration of. So let's take the acceleration. It will be like this. The acceleration here. A, B, Y. This will be A, B. What action the wedge can move? Right. Sir. Towards right. The wedge should move towards right. I'll, I'll show the acceleration of wedge in this direction. Then uh, is the block B and the wedge there in contact? Yes, they'll be in contact, no? So ABX should be equal to AC. The block B and wedge C are in contact. So acceleration along common normal must be equal. So therefore, what is the first constraint equation? ABX should be equal to AC. Then <coughs> let's come for uh, the other thing, Let, let's take up of the string. How the change in length of different part of string are related to displacement of block and wedge. And the change in length of this part, what, what it will give? Displacement of block A. Play this. Change in length of this string will give displacement of block B. What about the change in length of this? This, this pulley is fixed, no? This pulley is fixed here. So what about the change in length of this? Constant. The change in length of this part. No, it will be change in length, length of uh, the wedge, sir. Ah, displacement. The change in length of this should be equal to displacement of wedge, no? Yes, and displacement of wedge. Yeah. Say so if the pulley, if the wedge moves by one meter, the pulley P1 will move more one meter. Then how much length here will decrease one meter? 
So the change in length of this, yes, let's assume that now the wedge will move towards right. The wedge will move towards right by one meter. Block A will move by up by two meter. Then how much length will decrease here? Two meter. How much length will decrease at one meter? Here one meter, two meter, which has decreased in these two parts. Where should increase? Should increase here? How much this should move down? Three meter. I'll I'll I'll, I'll make it once again. Huh? Let's assume that M no block block A of mass M. Let let this move by one meter up. The wedge move by originally two meter. Then how much length of string here decreased? Two meter. How much length of string here decreased? One meter. So three meter decrease no. Where should increase? Should increase here. So three M. Three M. This should increase. So what should be the displacement of block B now? Should be the displacement okay. of wedge originally displacement of wedge plus. The vertical displacement of block A. So, what is the constant equation you should write here now? From string, length of string remains same. Length of string remains constant. All string is inextensible. From that, what I can write it? A C Y or sorry, A B Y no. A B Y should be equal to A C plus A. So looking at this, uh, from where this first equation I brought, from acceleration along common normal should be called because the wedge and block they are in contact. From where this equation I brought it, from the string. Are, are you getting no say? So what we have to look at here, we have to look at the how change in length of different parts of string are related to displacement of block and wedge. That's the one thing. Next, where all <laughs> the blocks and wedge they are in contact and acceleration along common normal must be equal. I think. From yesterday, I'm using the same idea here. The problems little bit different, that's all. But the idea is same. So now the equation will be 3mg minus t is equal to 3m ab1. Then n1 equal to 3m abx. Then on the wedge, I'll, along x axis, what what is the force? T minus n1 should be equal to 2m ac. Then for for the block A, T minus solve all this. You look at the required. Uh, how many unknowns are there? Five unknowns, five equations. Solving this, you look at the required answer. Okay, take screenshot. I'll I'll, I'll go for next one. Sir, how T is acting in horizontal direction for which? What force acting on the pulley? There should be the force acting on the wedge. Okay. Huh? Uh, that is just only constant equation I'm going to test you. There's a block here. Eh? 